Hey, it's Harcourt from Play, and today we're going to talk about segmented controls in Play for Mac OS. So first, let's add one to our page. We'll go down to the Add Bar at the bottom of our page and click to open the Add Panel. Inside the Add Panel, in this Control section here, right in the middle, you'll see your segmented control. So you can click and you can add it to your page. Once it's on your page, we can now look at the Element Settings panels. So the first property is called Segments. This is where you'll determine how many segments you'd like to have and also what those segments titles should be. So right now we have three segments, one, two, and three. And if I open this property, you'll see that this is just a text field and I can type in all the titles that I'd like. So if I were to delete this last one, this three, and I delete the comma as well, you'll see that that whole segment disappears. And I could do the same thing with this two. If I delete this, now there's only one segment. Now the reverse is true as well. I could add as many segments as I'd like. So I, all I have to do is just add commas in between. So you can see I have a ton of different segments now. But in this example, I'd like to have three different segments, veggie, fish, and meat. Great, now I have my segment set up. The next property is called selected segment. So this determines which segment should be selected when the user first sees it. So right now it's veggie, but I could change it to fish, meat, or any of them. I can also click on the segment and control in my canvas and wait for a second and see this blue dotted line that will appear around. And then I can interact with my seg segmented control and when this gets updated, this selected segment will also appear in the selected segment property. Next, we have the fill property. And this fill property will determine the background color of your segmented control. So right now it's a light gray, but I could make it pink. I could make it purple, or I can make it a lighter gray, slightly darker gray, a lot of different options here. Next is a selection, and this is another color, and this determines the color of the selected segment. So same thing, I can make it pink, I could make it any of the different colors, but I'm going to use a light gray color again. Lastly, we have the control padding, and this will add padding to the top and bottom of your segmented control. So it'll add some space above and below the different titles. So I can make it really big, really small, lots of option here with a control padding. So now that we have our segmented control all set up and ready to go, I'm going to drag it onto my page. Now it's on my page. I'm going to add a little bit of gap spacing here and I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to change this color to be a little bit lighter. Now it all looks good and now we can add interaction to our segmented control. So if I select my segmented control and go into interaction mode and I add a trigger, you'll see that there's a specific native element trigger called segmented, called segmented selected for the segmented control. So if I choose that, It'll give me one property in here in the trigger settings, and this is just the segment. So I can choose if I want whatever actions that we will add eventually, if I want those actions to trigger when any segment at all is selected, or if the first segment, second segment, or third segment is selected. So for now, let's do the first select, or let's do the second segment selected. So when the second segment is selected, what do I want to happen? Well, in this case, I want this stack to scroll to the second image. So I am going to add a set scroll action. And here I'm going to make the target this option stack and it'll be scroll to object horizontally. And I want the index to scroll to the second object there. Great. So now let's see what that one looks like on our phone. So when I tap that second segment, which is fish, I want it to scroll to the second image, which will be an image of fish. Nice. So now that works. So now we could go in and we could add other segment segment selected to do the first and third. So let's try that. Now let's try that on our phone as well. Awesome. It works exactly how we'd like it to. And that's how you use the segmented control native element, as well as the specific triggers for segmented controls. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I can't wait to see how you'll use a segmented control in your design.